guys, it's Virginia and welcome back to another Sunday video with me on 7 Days in the USA. So today I am wearing my Disney shirt and that is because this week's theme is books and for books I decided to do my favorite childhood books. So these are like favorite bedtime books, favorite after school time books, favorite books in general. These are just the books I loved as a child. And I'm not that much of a reader, I wish I was. But I would read these books all the time, which shows you how great they are. Anyways, let's get started. So first and foremost, my favorite book series and favorite books when I was a child is Junie B. Jones. I have just a few Junie B. Jones books. I loved Junie B. Jones. I still do. I mean, I haven't read any in a while, but I just read one or like kind of more like skimmed it a few minutes ago because, you know, I was getting all these out for this video. But I don't know how many we have, like at least two dozen I think. I think there's like 26 books here. I don't know why I love them so much but just like I don't know I just really like them. My sister read all of these and so I read all of them. I could like read one of these after school in like 20 minutes and I'm a slow reader like that is impressive. That's impressive. Like that's how much I love these books even though they're picture books with hardly any words and very small like that's pretty good for a second grader if you like Junie B Jones give this video a thumbs up and comment down below like one book that stands out to you I think the most memorable Junie B Jones book to me was maybe the one that she went to Hawaii or the one at Christmas when they all gave gifts to each other and she tried to give the person she didn't like a lump of charcoal from her dad's grill these are some high quality books and I want to like keep them all because maybe when I'm older I will have a daughter and I'm gonna have her read all of these. The next is also a series and I'm pretty sure everyone read these like of our generation read these and that's Diary of a Wimpy Kid and I think there's like even still some coming out. There's still new movies hashtag not my Roderick but you know but just everyone read these. I also read Dork Diaries but that's like low-key a copy of Diary of a Wimpy Kid except for it's like a girl and she actually has a personality <laughs> but yeah it's just like basic for our generation that you have read diary of a wimpy kid next some books that i used to read when i was little we have these little disney books i put them on my shelf in like rainbow order these are just super cute like little books and they're like puffy i don't know like the the book itself like is puffy these are super tiny books like that's not a lot but like Aristocrats, Beauty and the Beast, Lady and the Tramp, The Little Mermaid. I haven't seen this movie in so long and I really want to see it. Pocahontas, Bambi, The Lion King, Hallelujah, Aladdin, another great one, Dumbo, and 101 Dalmatians. These are just like all just great. And you can see why I'm wearing my Disney shirt now because Disney. <laughs> but these are just super cute and they were great for like learning how to read when you're younger because they're small and they're stories that you're familiar with and they're Disney and like yay okay so this is actually the last book I have because I didn't want to make this too long but if you give a pig a pancake I wonder if anyone else has this book or like read it when they were children but this is just the most adorable little thing and it's about if you give a pig a pancake obviously oh Look at it! It's so cute! It's just the cutest little book ever. I love this book. I forgot how much I loved it. Now I wish I had a pet pig. Oh look, she'll want a pancake to go with it. Also another book that I couldn't find, it's like, I think it's called Ping. It takes place in China and um, it's on like the Yellow River, that's what it's called. And it's like, there, there's people with like boats and they have ducks that like go on the boats at night and Ping it was like the last duck and didn't make it and it was just the story of how Ping went down the Yellow River and finally got back to his boat and I just really like it yeah so that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was nostalgic to you if you read like Junie B Jones books or if you had like any of these books as children if you did please comment because I would love to know if anyone else had these books and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to this channel to see more from me and six other girls and subscribe to my channel to see more from just me I post beauty and fashion oriented lifestyle videos over there 
You should also subscribe to our sister channel, Seven Days Worldwide. And if you have any theme ideas for us, click the first link in the description box and it will take you to a Google form where you can submit theme ideas for us so we do what you want to see. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!